Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial in this video we are gonna go over react router library and for those who don't know react router is a fully featured client and server side routing library for react and what does it mean basically when you are using react you can just create a single page application but in the most traditional apps you see that they have multiple pages and this is what react router allows us to do to create a multiple page application but the multiple pages that are created by react router will not uh, be like most other apps because often in a multiple page application when you want to go to another page you actually send a request to the server by clicking on some links or buttons and server will send you back the new page and then it will be rendered by browser but uh, by using react router we will not get a new page from server rather react router will manipulate url and look for url changes and based on a different paths in a url it will render some components and yeah we will still have a single page application which means we will have just one single html file so now we know what is react router let's see how we can use it to create a multiple page application for that i thought we can create an app that has a nav bar with some buttons and by clicking on these buttons we have to be redirected to different pages so for example here we can go to about page we can go to the contact page and home page but if we go to a page that doesn't exist so for example home page you see that another page will be shown so this will be the 404 page so actually we will have four pages I only have an empty react app I just removed some files that were created by react because uh, we don't need them and I also added a CSS file that I'm gonna use for a styling and as you can see I have it here inside this style folder and actually you can start by creating a new react app and after that we have to install react router library because it's not a part of the react core libraries and we can install it by typing npm install react router dom at 6 and this 6 at the end is referring to the react routers version and the 6 is the latest version the next step after installation is to connect our app to the browser's url and for that you can open the app .js file and then we need to import browser router from react router dom then we need to wrap our entire app within this uh, browser router component and for that i'm gonna first remove this uh, div tag then i'm gonna put the browser router component instead of that so now if we want to add any component we have to add it inside this uh, browser router a component and by that the app will be connected to the browser url so now the app is connected to the browser url before we create uh, routes let's first create different components that we will need in this app so first i'm gonna create two folders the first one will be named uh, components inside it i will put different components that are same in pages the next folder will be pages and here i'm gonna put components that are uh, unique in each page and you can actually create just one folder and uh, put all your components inside it so you don't need to create two folders and you don't need to call those folders uh, components and pages you can actually call it what you want so for uh, each page we can uh, create a separate component uh, here i'm gonna create a component for home page and uh, call it home.js then i'm gonna create another one for uh, about page and call it about.js then for contact page and uh, lastly for the 404 page and the component will be named page not found .js. so inside home.js i'm gonna create a component and i will also add the 
main.css file for a styling then I will give the component uh, a name and I'm gonna call it home here this component will return a main tag which contains a h3 tag and we can add a text and so I can write for example home page I'm gonna copy these codes and repeat it in each page but I will change the components name and also the text inside this uh, h3 tag so here I will name the component for about and I will also change the text to about page then I'm gonna do the same for the contact page so I'm gonna change the components name and then I'm gonna also change the text inside the h3 tag so the last component will be page not found I will change the components name so I'm gonna change it page not found and I'm gonna also change the text to the page not found now we can go back to the app.js file and start adding some routes and for that we need to import a few things so we need to import uh, routes and route from react router dom then you can just put routes component inside this browser router to add a new route you can use a route component that we imported but remember the route component should be inside routes component so basically when you click on some links this uh, Browse component will look for the new path that was added in a URL and check if the path exists among those routes that are inside inside it. Then it will return some components. Okay, we have to give this uh, route a path. So for home page, we can just type in a slash which means we don't have any path in URL. So for example, if it was google.com, the slash means just google.com. So there is nothing after .com. Now, which component should be returned if this path was matched? For that, we can specify element. So element will be components that have to be rendered and uh, here we pass home component we also need to import it so i'm gonna import the home component i will also import other components so uh, i'm gonna import about from about.js and then contact and for the 404 page i'm gonna import page not found component we also need to add different routes for these components i can copy the home routes then here for the about page i can change the path to the slash about and the component should be returned is about then i will do the same for a contact and then for the 404 page so here the path will be a bit different so for the path we have to type a star and that means that if none of those routes matched this component which we will pass here in a element will be returned now i'm gonna start the server and uh, see how it looks like So here as you can see we are in a home page so there is uh, no path in url i can change it to the about page then let's see the contact page as well and now let's uh, type a path or a route that doesn't exist so as you can see we got the 404 page 
Okay, so now there is just one more thing left and it is navbar so we can navigate to different pages without needing to change url directly for a navbar i'm gonna create another component but i'm gonna put it uh, inside this components folder and i will name it navbar so now i will create the component and then name it navbar and I will also add the main.css file for styling. This navbar component will return a nav tag which uh, contains some links. For links we can use the usual a tag or we can use a component called the link from a react router. First, let's uh, import the link component. Actually, the link component is uh, really easy to use. We can add a link. So, this link will be for the home page. Then, to which path we should be redirected when we click on this link. So, for that, we have to specify the two and here we have to write the path that we want to be redirected. So for a home page, it will be a slash. I will add uh, a class name for styling. Then now I will create some other links for about page and contact page. Then So now the only thing that is left is to add this navbar to pages. So we can go back to the app.js file and here first we need to import the navbar component. Then because the navbar will be same in all pages, we have to add it outside this routes component. So I will add it here before routes. That means this navbar will be at the top of all pages. So now let's open the browser again and see uh, that this navbar is working. So as you can see, when I click on these links in these buttons, I will be or I re redirect to different pages. Okay guys, so that was all for this video. In this video, we've covered the basic of the React Router library. And I think this video would be enough to start using the React Router library in your projects. But if you want to learn more about React Router, you can check the React Router's uh, documentation page. So if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. So if you had any questions, you can uh, leave it in the comment section below. So I'm going to try to answer them if I knew the answer. So see you in another video.